Do you like the idea of electric cars but are afraid of range anxiety? Are you waiting for more advanced battery technology? Hi, my name is Stan and today I would like to share with you my experience as electric vehicle driver. I live in central New Jersey. I have wife, two small children, a family house and luckily a decent job. Up until recently, I used to be an ordinary driver just like anyone else, enjoying the benefits of a conventional car and the convenience of getting fuel at essentially every block. And then I have heard the story of EV1, an electric vehicle made by General Motors. And this was the first time that I started thinking seriously about electric cars. When the US government came up with tax credit incentives, and car manufacturers started to bring electric cars to the US market, I became so engaged that I started to create lists of available electric cars as well as hybrids with their prices, specifications, and most importantly, driving range. At that time, we have had two cars in our family, relatively new Jetta Sportwagon TDI, operated mostly by my wife, and rather old Honda Civic that was used mostly by myself for my 10 mile daily commute. And the idea was to buy an electric car that would replace my old Honda. With the high prices of all models and tight family budget, I was willing to get something really basic. And the most affordable and yet the most efficient vehicle on my list was Mitsubishi I. With EPA estimated range of 62 miles and uh, efficiency of 112 miles per gallon equivalent which ranks it number one most efficient vehicle in the US that is available for purchase. However, I was not sure whether I can fit inside of the car with my 6 feet and 3 inch. When the first vehicle arrived to my local dealership in New Jersey, I have taken it for a test drive immediately. Not only that I could fit into the driver's seat comfortably, there was enough headroom in the back seat as well. Moreover, I was also surprised that the car was much stronger to what I would expect from 66 horsepower motor. That's because electric vehicles have great torque at all speeds. And specifically, this car, Mitsubishi I, has torque of 145 pound-feet, which is comparable or even slightly more than conventional compact cars such as Chevrolet Cruze, Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, Honda Elantra or Ford Focus. All that power is available without revving, making electric cars amazingly quiet. And I fell in love with this car. And a few days later, I took a delivery. It was no-brainer that this car would make for a perfect 10-mile commute. And I didn't have to invest into expensive level 2 charging station because the charging cable that came with the car would be able to replenish two-thirds of the battery capacity during overnight charging. Eventually, I sent my charging cable to EVSE Upgrade in California. And now, I can charge at ordinary 120 volts power outlet in less than 13 hours which means that I can fully recharge my car overnight using ordinary 120 volt power outlet which is in my home, your home, any home in the United States and at 240 volts the battery can be charged in 6 hours Shortly after taking delivery, I started to consider taking my electric vehicle for longer trips. And I decided to take my car for a one-day conference in Newark, which is some 30 miles away from my home. At that time, I really suffered from range anxiety. So I took, uh, not the fastest way, but I took rather US Highway 1, uh, and I was driving at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. And I opted not to use heater. I was pleased that when I arrived at the destination that 
the battery indicator showed me that only six bars of 16 were consumed, so it's something over one third of the battery capacity. I have parked my car at the parking garage and I have purposefully picked a spot next to elevator bank while there was 120 volt power outlet and I had my charging cable with me, so I plugged the car in. At the end of the day, when the conference was over, the battery was completely full. And at that time, I had turned on the heater and I headed toward New Jersey Turnpike, where I had been flooring my electric car all the time at speeds of up to 81 miles per hour. And sure enough, I arrived home much faster. However, the battery indicator showed that 12 bars of 16 were consumed. So it was important to realize that the vehicle responded to my driving style so dramatically. Since then, I have been driving my car rather carefully, avoiding hard acceleration and hard deceleration or abrupt braking. And I became more familiar with the car and the factors affecting its range. So my typical driving range with this car is anywhere between 75 to 85 miles. If my planned trip is expected to exceed this distance, then I'll take our Jetta. It has a range of 600 miles because it's turbo diesel and it's also very efficient. By following this simple rule, I have soon realized that I no longer suffer with range anxiety. So range anxiety was just a temporary state for me. During my transition from conventional car to an electric car, and I'm sure many people would rather choose to drive it at full throttle, more aggressively, sacrificing the range down to 40 miles. You know, I can drive this car anywhere that I want. I can go slowly, I can go fast. But ultimately, what I need to understand, what range the car will give me under my driving style. 